welcome everybody. We have decided that we are going to start an RPG series. RPG stands for a role playing game. We will be using Amazon Lumberyard to make this game. If you haven't installed Lumberyard or you just want to get a basic understanding of how to use it, then check out our Lumberyard series. Link will be in the description. This RPG series will cover how to set up a game project, creating a third and first person character, creating a UI, a user interface, uh, weapons, throwable weapons, terrain, spells, and much, much more. The first thing that you'll need to do is to set up a game project. This is quite easy to do, and we will be showing you how to do it in this video. First, you need to open the project configurator. So the project configurator, uh, when you installed Lumberyard, it should have added uh, some shortcuts to your desktop. If it hasn't, then you can search for it in the Windows search bar down here, or you can navigate to the folder. Here you go, it is loaded. First, uh, once it is opened, you need to click on this uh, blue create new button, as this will create the new project. Once you have clicked it, it will open a pop-up window just like this. You want to make sure default project is selected. You then want to give your project a name, so I'm going to name mine RPG. You then want to click create project. You then want to go ahead and click on the create project button. It is now going to build your project. Um, it will take around one hour to two hours if you haven't done a build like this before in Lumberyard. However, if you have done it, then it could just take uh, 10 minutes or so. But we'll be back when it has finished. Okay then, the project has been created. Now you first want to set the project that we just created to the RPG as default. So to do that, you want to click on set as default here. So let's say it will be like this for you. You then want to click on set as default. There we go. So we're now going to enable some gems for our project. Uh, if any of you didn't know what a gem is, then a gem is basically um, modulars of code or assets that can be added to multiple projects. So to enable our gems, you need to click on enable gems button here. It will open something like this. There are already some gems that have been ticked and that's fine. And there are some that haven't ticked that you'll also need to tick. If you're following along in this series, then we do recommend that you tick what we tick and untick what we tick. So, uh, we, uh, this, I've already gone through and unticked and ticked everything that we'll need for this project. So if you just want to copy what, uh, is shown on the screen then. So you don't need the Amazon certificate manager. Uh, you don't need the game lift as that's for like more complex games. You do want the audio animation events, which means that when, uh, for example, let's say a character is jumping into the sea or like off a pier, it will create a splashing effect. Uh, you don't need boys. You do want camera and camera framework as this helps to control like how a user sees the character. You don't want chat play as this to do with Twitch. Unless, of course, you do want um, to include Twitch in your thing, then just go ahead and click it. Uh, you don't need Cloud Canvas. You don't need Cloud Canvas Common. You don't need a Cloud Gem AWS script behavior. You don't need the Cloud Gem Compute Farm. You don't. You don't know. Do you don't need the cloud gem defect reporter. You don't need the dynamic content. You don't need the framework. You don't need the metrics. You don't need the in-game survey. You might want the leaderboard as it's quite good sometimes. It, so basically, the leaderboard is created with your AWS account. If you want to, then you can. There's another tutorial that we'll be making on how to use this on all of that. But for now, I'm not going to be using it. Uh, if you want, uh, you don't need that. Uh, if you want a player account, then click on it, otherwise don't. Uh, you don't need text-to-speech, you don't need the web communicator. You do need these two, as these are very important. You don't want the custom uh, asset examples. Uh, you do want the emotion FX animations, which is a character animation system that is used to set up controllable animations characters inside your project. Excuse me. Um, 
you do want footsteps this will basically create um a footsteps animation behind when your character walks you do want the game effect system as this is um create amazing visual effects you don't need gestures unless of course you are doing this on a ios if you're making this for an ios or android device uh, you don't. Uh, you do need graph canvas. You do need graph scripting, as this is an easier way to um, script the graphics. You don't need HTTP request. You don't need in-app purchases. You do want the input uh, management framework. You do want the legacy game interface. Um, you do want Lightning. You do want the Lumber Central, the Shine, Shine examples, and the uh, this. Uh, so this helps to create a uh, cinematic module modules. You don't need the meta stream. You don't want a meta, uh, microphone unless, of course, that um, your game involves where the user has to speak to the character. For example, uh, you don't want multiplayer. We'll be covering. Um, we'll be making a series soon about how to set up multiplayer and all of that. Uh, you don't. You do need native UI. You don't need uh, any of these VR things unless, of course, you are making it for a VR game. Uh, you do need this. You do need physics entities. You do, need, you do need Physics X. Um, this is co uh, quite a new thing that's just come out, so it's actually really good. Playground here, you won't have, as this is something that uh, we made. Um, you do need uh, primitive assets. You do need process life management. You don't need the red uh, telement telementary. You do want rain, as this is just an easy way of creating rain. You do want roads and rivers. You might have your own gem here from when you created a project. Um, yeah, uh, RPG gem is a gem that you will create uh, in like a few minutes. Uh, you do want, or whatever you want to call it, uh, you do want. Oh, I'm going to take that because yeah, uh, you do want scene logging. Oh, uh, you don't want it. Sorry, uh, you do want scene processing. You do want script canvas. All of these. You do want the entity to, uh, tweener. You do want sky clouds. You do want snow as. Like it helps. It's easier to uh, import this. Uh, you do want the starter game gem as it does have some good assets and good pieces of code. You do want the starting starting point camera. You do want the input. You want the movements. You don't want the static data. You do want the SO, SVOGI, which uh, creates which is better illumination for your game. So basically, better lighting. You don't want Twitch unless, of course, you will be. Uh, integrating Twitch into the game. We are doing another playlist series uh, later on on how to get Twitch to work with your game. You do want UI basics, you don't want user login, you do want video f uh, playback, you don't want virtual game pads, you don't want visibility and you do want water. So once you've ticked and unticked everything you want to click on the save button up here. Okay. We are now going to create a gem for this project. To do this, you want to click on create a new gem. You then want to give it a name. So as you saw before, like um, up here, I had a gem called RPG uh, underscore gem, which I created for this project. But you could call it whatever you want. So, so like, as you can see here, RPG gem. So I'm going to call it test. And then for summary, uh, name whatever you want. Even though it's optional, we do recommend that you do it as it makes it easier to organize later on. You then want to, um, yeah, give it a summary. So uh, this, is, this is a YouTube series. And then you want to make sure code and assets. And then you want to click create gem. However, I've already done one. Once it's been created, you need to look through this list until you find it. So rpg gem and then you want to make sure it's ticked and then save again then click back to projects okay we have now done everything we need to in the project configurator just make sure it has um set as default like this and then uh you can now close the project configurator okay then so in, we now must build the projects that we have um just created and added gems to so if you uh, followed along on our uh, setup video, uh, we would have uh, shown you how to uh, create this configure game button here. If you haven't, then uh, I'll put a link in the description with the time you should jump to to add it. This is an easier way to uh, 
build your game as you don't have to remember the command to type into the command line as it will automatically do it for you. So we're now going to build the game. So just click on the configure game button and it will open up a terminal just like this. And as you can see, it will uh, go through um, building the project. We'll be back as soon as it is done. Okay then, so it has just uh, created the solution. We now need to build it one last time, uh, which will then put everything together to enable us to run the editor. So to open the solution, go File, new, uh, Open, and then File. You then want to navigate to where Lumberyard is installed. Once you've done that, you want to double click on Dev to open it. You then want to scroll down to Solutions. You then want to uh, look for a game underscore VS15 solution. You then want to open it. Okay then, so it has opened. You then want to click on this little drop down here and then you want to select game underscore profile like this. You then want to make sure it's x64 and then click on local windows debugger. It will then build for the last time. We'll be back as soon as it is done. It is currently building down here in the output window. Okay, so everything is now finished. We have created the project, enabled the gems that we want to use. We have made our, our own gem. We have created a solution and we have built it. If you launch the editor by uh, double clicking this or navigating to uh, where you saved it and it opens without any errors, then you have, you have successfully bu uh, built and made a project. If you have enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you want to carry along with our RPG series, please do subscribe so you'll be notified when we upload. See you in the next video. Bye.